Greetings, family and Messiah Yeshua. Greetings to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael. Come back again with another Yahweh inspired message. Um, I'm, I'll be reading from Genesis chapter 15 and verse 13. Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. And I read, And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that your seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not there, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for his years, and also that nation whom they shall serve when I judge, and after shall they come out with great suffering. This verse. This passage is being fulfilled before our eyes right now. That which leads me to say this. Leading to say this. And leading to say this. Israelite lives matters. Let me say it again. Israelite lives matters. Israelite lives matters. He will usually like lives matters for 400 years. The lives of Israelites, of true Israel, those who are called African American, the true descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, have not mattered in the nations occupied, colonized by the Gentiles, the Europeans. It had not mattered. Because we as a nation who descended from Abraham, Yisak, and Yaakov have rebelled against Yahweh. We as a nation has rebelled against Yahweh. As it's written in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 30, rather. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon you, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before you. And you shall call them out of all the nations where Yahweh El has driven you. And shall return to Yahweh El, and shall obey his voice according to all that command you, that they, you and your children, with all your heart, with all your soul. That's why we have become a stranger in a land that's not ours. That's why we are being oppressed, that have been oppressed, and have been brought under servitude because we have rebelled against our mighty one, Yahweh. We have rebelled against Yahweh, our mighty one. For that cause. That's why we are subject to the curses itemized in the book of the commandments of Yahweh because we have rejected Yahweh we have left him so if the Israelite in our eyes matters then we will return back into Yahweh if the Israelite in our eyes matters we will return back into Yahweh we will, we will repent of our sins we will Believe on Yahweh's means, appointed means of reconciliation unto him. That is Yeshua HaMashiach. To believe on Yahweh's appointed means of being reconciled to him is to take on the nature and the spirit of his beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. And how do you take on the nature and spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach? By taking on his name in water baptism. The purpose of being baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach is for both the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul. And you receive the Spirit of Yeshua by receiving the Holy Spirit from Yahweh as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits you to speak. So if Israelite life matters, if Hebrew Israelite life matters, they will return back into Yahweh. Those who are Despite our descendants of 
Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to the Gentiles, the nations. If Israelite lives matters, then you will turn from the weeds of your ancestors and turn unto Yahweh. You will enter covenant relationship with Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. Your intercommunal relationship with Abba Yahweh. So if Yisraelite lives matters, if Yisraelite lives matters, then you will turn your life over to Yahweh. You will repent of your sin. You will be baptized in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. You will seek Yahweh till you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit at, at, by speaking in another tongue, you know, permit you to speak. So Yisraelite lives matters. True. You must return unto Yahweh. Years of night lives matters. Yes. But return unto Yahweh. Return unto Yahweh. And it's written in Deuteronomy chapter 30. And it shall come to pass. When all these things are come upon you, the blessing and the curse which have sent before you, and we shall call them the blood of all the nations where Yahweh is known as giving you. They shall return unto Yahweh your hell, and shall be his voice according to all that command you to say, you and your children, with all your heart, with all your soul. So, when you, when you call the mind, the blessing and the curse that Yahweh has set before us, and return unto Yahweh your hell, return back to Yahweh, both Jew and Gentile, both Yehudi and Goni, it's time to return back to Yahweh. It's time for the sons of Adam to return back to Yahweh. Yahweh in this hour is calling for the children of Adam to make the return back to Yahweh. That what Yeshua HaMashiach died and gave his life for. That the sons of Adam may return back to Abba Yahweh. So if you want to inherit eternal life, you must be reconciled unto Yahweh. If you want eternal life, you must be reconciled unto our Yahweh. And to be reconciled unto our Yahweh, you must take on the nature and the spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach. And as a, a full state, you take on the nature and spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach by means of the water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. For the pardon of sins and the regeneration of your soul, and you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue, and Yahweh permit you to speak. That's how you take on the nature and spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach by being baptized in water in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, and by being baptized with the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue, and Yahweh permit you to speak. And then you must strive diligently to keep the commandments of Yahweh as written in the book of the commandments of Yahweh in the book of the law of Yahweh and that is example in these areas you will believe in one God strict monotheism you will believe in one means of reconciliation by the way of Acts 2 38 you will believe in observing the feast days as written in Leviticus chapter 23 you believe in eating clean and rejecting unclean food as written in Leviticus chapter 11. You believe in treating your, the household of faith right and treating those who are not household of faith right. So it's time to return back to Yahweh. It's time to return back to Him. It's time to return back to Yahweh. It's time to return back to Yahweh. If the Israelite lives matter, then you will return back to Yahweh. You will forsake your sins and your transgressions, and you will be reconciled to Yahweh by obeying Acts 38. You will forsake your sins and transgressions against Yahweh and be reconciled unto Him by obeying Acts 238. Because Acts 238 is the means. Of reconciliation to Yahweh is where you take on the nature and the spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach. So Hebrew Israelite lives matters. Yes. 
But return to Yahweh. Use it like life matters. But return to Yahweh. I pray this message reaches Yahweh's elect, stirs them to action, and surrender total unto Yahweh. I thank Yahweh for allowing me, his servant, another opportunity to bring forth his inspired message. I pray that whoso will like, share, and support this message, this channel. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh's beloved son, so be it. So be it.